welcome back to the kitchen one more time with Chef Ricardo cooking program guys we are in the kitchen and today we're going to show you how you can make yourself a simple quick fast recipe Jamaican ginger beer drink guys this way I made it is one of the best way I'm telling you and I know you guys will love the recipe I get the request for the recipe and I definitely want to do it for the fans and because you know what I mean they ask for it and I have to do it so guys enjoy the recipe subscribe to the YouTube channel leave your comments and remember one thing get a copy of the cooking book and remember also 2020 we have the next version which is gonna come out for the Caribbean cuisine cooking book so guys thank you so much for your time and watching the video it's amazing one more time requested Jamaican ginger beer I love that so as I said the request is all about how to make Jamaican ginger beer this is another way which you can make it very simple and clear guys I'm just going to show you or you can make yourself some lovely ginger beer at home very easy simple and quick basically I just grated two fat chunk of piece of a ginger but I'm not gonna make a lot of ginger beer if you want to make a lot of ginger beer you can add more ginger basically the two pieces which I just grated about a size like this two medium sized pieces I grated them most people back in the Caribbean in Jamaica would normally beat it and crush it and boil it up into some water but we're not gonna go down that line we're gonna make it very easy simple and clear that's the guys can see exactly what I'm doing right here so as I said before we're not gonna make a lot it's just probably two glasses we're gonna make so I'm gonna put my grated ginger beer straight inside of this container right here as you can see this is cove cove is very strong and that's one and that's two we just gonna put only two pieces of cove inside of the grated ginger beer just like this guys I want you guys are very clear clear as what I'm doing right here so as you can see exactly what I'm talking about cove and the ginger beer and the grated ginger is right there most people in the Caribbean use brown sugar which is very healthy and good for you but you don't have to use brown sugar because it's not a must you have to use brown sugar you can also use white sugar if you want a clear nice lovely look but I'm gonna use some brown sugar and I'm gonna put some brown sugar inside of it like this sweeten and taste as it goes along then we're gonna basically gonna do I have some boiling water which I use inside of my kettle. I'm gonna pour it on it like this so the reason why I put my sugar inside of it is to get the sugar dissolved inside of the water so if I simply say let's taste it like this nice one that's pretty good but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna squeeze a lemon inside of it nice one I just taste it and to me it's that take a little bit more sugar so as I said sweeten and taste as it goes along let's give it another taste tastes really nice but you know it's still gonna take some more sugar because remember the white the brown sugar 
put two more spoon in it. But basically, what I normally do, I put two cove inside of it, but I believe that I would put another cove inside of the water. And also, basically grate another piece of a ginger, just like this. Nice and lovely. Give it another taste. That's perfect. That's really, really, really good, guys. I'm telling you, this is just another easier way where you can make your ginger beer at home then after you do that what are the next thing you can do you don't need to do this I'm just gonna put a shot of dark rum inside of it if you are allergic to rum dark rum or white rum you don't need to put it inside of it it's just bring more extra more flavor to you guys give it one more taste to see really good I'm gonna cover it like this and I'm gonna make it draw for roughly nice good Give a nice, lovely. Some people now I'm gonna leave this for 24 hours for the next day, but you don't have to do that. Let's give this for a nice good two hours and then you'll come back towards it, guys. So as you can see, this is just another way where you can make yourself a nice, lovely homemade ginger beer. Hopefully you will like it and enjoy it. And please subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's just a request for the ginger beer. And I said to myself, I need to make it for them because they keep asking me for the ginger beer. So, guys, as you can see, another way or you can make yourself some ginger beer. The same ginger beer, you can put it on the stove and boil it up for about a second. But you don't need to do that. You can just boil some water, enjoy it. Some people just use cold water and leave it for the next day. But you don't have to do those. If you get it more easy and quick, that's the best way to make ginger beer at home. Enjoy the recipe, subscribe to the YouTube channel and thank you so much. We're going to come back and we're going to strain it off and put it into some ice and glass in a glass. Thank you. Bye-bye. Nice and lovely. So as you can see so far, we still have wrapped it. I have it for roughly about two, four hours now since I have it like this rub, sweated, the ginger just, guys, let me take off and cover my guys so I'll go on and right. Remember, if you want to do a big potion, all you need to do is just add more ingredients inside of it and sweeten and taste as it goes along. And remember, as I said before, I put the sugar inside of the warm water because just to make it get dissolved, that's the best way, I'm telling you. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to simply show you exactly what I'm going to do, right? I'm just going to simply strain it like this. nice one look at that guys that's beautiful let's get out of the juice out of this bit right here let's use a spoon and simply squeeze it down like this nice one so as you can see exactly what I'm talking about right here with the Jamaican ginger beer right here it's just really beautiful and simple and nice but guys it is amazing seriously 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sing the poor back shit back from this. Give it another squeeze. Lovely and nice. So, as you can see exactly what I'm doing right here, this is a cove. You cannot put too much cove. Cove is very strong. You have to be careful of the cove, guys. But what you can do, you can simply put this in your fridge and you can see the color and the quality exactly what I'm talking about. Really nice and beautiful. So, basically, what I'm going to do right here, two things as I said before, you can either grate your ginger and you can either beat it, crush it, put it in the boiling water. The best thing you can leave it overnight even better you know what i mean and you can leave it to one four or five or six hour and get a nice lovely so i'm gonna just put some ice straight inside of my glass like this that's exactly what i'm talking about and pour some ginger beer beautiful this is jamaican ginger beer guys it's amazing, you know what I mean? I, I did it before and I get a request. I put even a like pinch of dark rum inside of it. Um, you don't need to put dark rum if you're allergic to rum. And remember, we put the cove also inside of it. But as you can see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Look at the quality of the Jamaican ginger beer. Um, really nice and this is exactly what I'm talking about. If I have it on my YouTube channel and like you cannot find the video, please request it because I have a lot more stuff which I'm supposed to make which is gonna come up very soon so guys as you can see Jamaican ginger beer requested one more time and I did make it enjoy the recipe subscribe to the YouTube channel thank you so much for watching chef Ricardo cooking program bye bye